Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use NordVPN. This is one of the top VPNs currently available on the market. I've tried out many of them and Nord consistently comes out as one of the fastest, most feature packed and secure VPNs available. Now in this video, I'm not going to go through every single feature of Nord VPN because there really is a lot and this video would be really long, but I am going to go through the main things about it that you need to know in order to start using it and know your way around it. And after that, if you want to find out something specific, you can always leave a comment or you can search for it on the internet and you shouldn't have a problem finding out more. Now, jumping into it, when you finish purchasing a plan and downloading and installing the application, you're going to have to sign in with the credentials that you created when you made an account on the website. And then you're going to see a page like this. This is going to be the home page that gives you a breakdown of what's going on with the VPN. On the left side, you have the VPN itself. You can connect to a different location using this right here. More on that in a second. And on the right side, you're going to have some statistics like your weekly connection time, a breakdown of the antivirus that NordVPN offers called Threat Protection Pro and the file sharing add-ons. Now I'm going to go more into all of these things one by one. So let's get into it. And by the end of this video, you're going to understand everything that is going on on this homepage right here. So let's go to the next tab, which is the VPN itself. This is probably where you're going to spend most of your time. On the right side, you're going to have this really nice interactive map that shows you all of the different VPN connections that there are to offer, right? If you don't know just the basics of how a VPN works, when you're using a VPN, you connect up to one of these locations over here. So for example, Boston, we can just click on that and you're going to see it says connecting and right there, I'm connected up to a server, a computer in Boston. And what that has done is two things. First of all, any website or application that I use will now think that I am in Boston. So physically, you can be anywhere in the world. You can be in Australia, you can be in the UK, it doesn't matter. Any website you visit will now think that you're in the US in Boston. On top of that, everything that you do online right now is going to be private and anonymous. Nobody's going to be able to know what you're doing online. All they're going to see is that you connected up to a VPN. And with NordVPN, they have a verified no logs policy, which means that outside independent companies have checked out NordVPN and verified that they do not keep any personal information local on their own servers. So not even NordVPN themselves and definitely not any government agency or your internet service provider will be able to find out what you're doing online. Everything is totally anonymous. Now, I would say 90% of the time, all you're going to need to know how to do is exactly what I did right here. Just go into the VPN page and click on a location. You can also find it here listed on the left side. You can search for it right here and then you connect up to whichever place you want to make it seem like you're in. So, for example, let's say I wanted to access the Netflix content library of the UK, right? I wanted to make it seem like I was in the UK when I go on Netflix in order to watch a movie or a TV show that's only available over there. So I would just go over in the map to the UK, let's say London, click on that, connect to it, and then I'm connected up to a server in the United Kingdom. Now I can go over to Netflix and I would have access to the entire content library that's available in the UK. That's all there is to it. Really simple and very easy. But with NordVPN, you do get a lot of other features besides for just that basic connection right there. So for example, you have over here on the left side, you have this tab called specialty servers. And what you're going to have here is different types of connections for a specific purpose. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but for example, some of the ones that you may find the most useful are going to be these two right here, double VPN and obfuscated servers. So double VPN is a feature that connects you up to two different locations, two different servers before getting you over to the internet. So so that'll just give you an added layer of protection and make it pretty much impossible for anybody to actually find out your identity or get any access to your personal information. Another feature you may find useful is obfuscated servers. And what these are going to do is hide the fact that you're even using a VPN. So there are going to be websites that do try to detect if you're using a VPN. And what these obfuscated servers do is they work to make it seem as if you're not even using a VPN, making it very hard for any website to realize 
that you are indeed using a VPN. And you know what? I will just real quick go over the other options over here. So you do have Onion over VPN that connects you up to the Tor network, but first it connects you over to the VPN. So nobody will actually see or nobody can tell that you're using the Tor network because first you connect it up to the VPN. All your internet service provider or your work or your university would see is that you're connecting up to the VPN. They wouldn't actually see that you're using the Tor network. And on top of that, you can actually use any browser. You can use Chrome or Mozilla. You don't need the Tor browser because the VPN is making that connection for you over to the Tor network. And then you have P2P servers. These are going to be optimized for torrenting, keeping your personal information that would otherwise be available over the torrent network. The P2P servers are going to protect that, make it anonymous while at the same time giving you a really fast download speed. Lastly, you're going to have dedicated IP. This is an add on feature that does cost a little bit of extra money. But in a nutshell, what this is going to do is allow you to avoid a lot of those annoying identity checks or captcha verifications when you're using a VPN. So this can help you avoid all of that and give you an easier experience when you're using the Internet. So there we go. In the end, I actually did go through all of these specialty servers over here. I wasn't expecting that, but there you go. Now, before I finish up the discussion of the VPN, there are some settings that you should know. So the three main settings to know are going to be the protocol, the kill switch, and split tunneling. So when it comes to protocol, we go over here to the connection and the first option over here, VPN protocol. And what the protocol does without getting into all the technical details, it's involved in forming that connection between your computer and the VPN server. So like in our example before, if you wanted to connect up to a server in the UK, the protocol is going to help make that connection between your computer and the NordVPN server over in the UK. Now with NordVPN, you're going to have three main options. You're going to have NordLink which is the fastest protocol and will get you the fastest internet connection and the best speeds. You have OpenVPN, which is older than NordLynx and is going to be more available across many different networks. So there may be times when NordLynx doesn't work and you're going to have to use OpenVPN, even though it is a bit slower. Lastly, there's the newest protocol, NordWhisper, which may not be available to you yet, depending on where you are. They're still rolling this feature out. But what this protocol is going to do is very similar to the obfuscated servers that I showed you earlier in the video. NordWhisper was a protocol that's designed to hide the fact that you're even using a VPN in case you're connecting to a website or you're on a network like in a school or somewhere that may not want you using a VPN. So NordWhisper can help you get around that. Of course, you do have the auto option, which will automatically pick the best protocol for you. But I personally like to have it set on NordLynx because it is the fastest. And for me, speed is the most important thing here. Now, like I said, there are a lot of different features. I can't go through all of them without making this video super long. But you can see for yourself that NordVPN does offer a lot of different options. The other two main features that you really should know about are going to be the kill switch and split tunneling. Now with NordVPN, you have two options. You can either set an internet kill switch or an app kill switch. You can choose to have your internet disconnect if the VPN ever stops working, or you can choose to select a specific app. Let's say in our torrenting example, your BitTorrent client, you can choose to have that disconnect from the internet if the VPN ever stops working. So if you're ever in a situation where you wanna make sure that you're always connected to the internet together with the VPN, then you should make sure that you have the kill switch enabled. Now, the other feature here, split tunneling, allows you to choose exactly which apps you want using the VPN to begin with, right? You may not want every single application or your whole internet connection going and using the VPN at the same time. You may only want your browser connected to the VPN. So with split tunneling, you can do that. You can just turn it on and then you can choose to disable the VPN for selected apps or you can choose which apps you want to enable the VPN for. And then you can go into add apps and choose exactly whatever it is that you want to be connected to the VPN specifically. So those are the main things to know when it comes to using the VPN. But NordVPN also has some nice add-ons. They have Threat Protection Pro, which is a mini antivirus. You have anti-malware protection, browser protection, and an ad and tracker blocker. And if you go over here and click Manage, 
you'll be able to get some more options and features related to these different parts of the antivirus. So you can choose malicious website blocking, scam and fraud alert, the search results indicator showing you the different safety of websites in your search results whenever you're using Google or something like that. So this is a pretty powerful tool if you want a nice little antivirus along with the VPN. I wouldn't say that it replaces a dedicated antivirus, but as a backup or as a secondary antivirus, it definitely does do the job and works pretty well. Now, there are pretty much two other add-ons over here. This one right here, file transfers, and this one here, devices in MeshNet, are pretty much based off of the same technology. So MeshNet is something that NordVPN offers, which makes it seem as if two or more computers are actually on the same network. So as if they're in the same house using the same Wi-Fi. Instead of just two computers that are using the internet, you know, in different parts of the world or in different places in the country, right? And what this does, is allow you to send files, transfer files between devices or for remote desktop access, it allows you to do that really securely and really fast. And this is a feature that's actually free. You don't need a subscription to NordVPN to use MeshNet. You can get this for free on their website, but it also is included as an add-on in the NordVPN application. So all you'd have to do with this is just link up two different devices with both of them having MeshNet installed, and then you can make it seem as if those two devices are in the same house using the same private network giving you a lot more security and allow you to transfer files or use remote desktop access and things like that very securely and easily. Lastly, you have a dark web monitor, which is pretty self-explanatory. It monitors the internet and the dark web to see if any of your personal information has been leaked out and it notifies you and tells you exactly where and what was leaked in case it did happen. So that's the gist of NordVPN. And now when we come back to that homepage, you should be able to understand everything that's going on right here. Now you know what Threat Protection Pro is. Now you know what the file sharing is, how the VPN works and the specialty servers. And you should know your way around this VPN pretty decently. Of course, there may be a few things here and there that may pop up or new features might be added in the future. And for that, at this point, you should be able to easily find and understand what you read online. So I hope this video was informational for you and you have a better grasp of NordVPN and how to use it. If you do want to try it out, then I did manage to get a hold of a discount offer for you that you'll find in the description below. So there'll be a link. You can just click on that and you can get a good deal on this VPN right here and save yourself some extra money. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any more questions or comments or some other VPN that you want me to cover, you can feel free to leave a comment down below. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.